from the Second Age of Reason. We're here to redo one of my old videos about cooking a fried egg sandwich. And so, let's go look at some of the differences of ingredients. Originally, I had fried some eggs and had some chili and sauce and chili and chutney. Well, I thought it was chili con carne and everybody has been telling me the recipe actually calls for a real chili sauce like this. So there's my sriracha, which will be used on the fried egg sandwich, which will just be put on plain white bread and the eggs will fry up in the frying pan. Uh, is an India thing that you uh, bake in the oven called pakora, which is kind of like, um, what do they call those, shoestring onions. Um, they're pretty good. So let's get things started. First thing, preheat the oven to 350. That's about four minutes. Pakora. And you spread them around a little bit. So I'm going to just put them in there without any additional oil or butter or lard or anything like that. Some people like theirs sunny side up. I like mine probably over easy. We'll let those cook for a while. The oven is nearly up to being preheated, so we will put the pakora in the oven. And then we have to set the timer, which I do over here. And I'm going to set it for about, oh, 14 minutes. There we go. That's when the pakora will be done. Okay, I think it's a good time to flip them. I guess like the documentation said, you don't need to put them on high ever, just to put them on medium because the uh, ceramic actually cooks evener and smoother and faster. All right, now I think it's time that we can even put them into the sandwich. Here we are for the sandwich. Ready to, we adjusted the angle. Fried egg part number one. And fried egg part number two. And then we can just add the topping, the, the chutney and the chili. Mmm, good and spicy. I think I'll flip it and throw some on the other side too. Why waste any of it? Good. And now the proof is in the pudding or the fried egg sandwich as the case may be. I'm back again with my fried egg sandwich with fried egg sandwich with chutney and chili sauce. 
Let's give it a try. Now that's mighty fine eating. You could put more cheese on it, but I didn't put cheese in it. It's just fine as it is. The chili sauce and the chutney. Brought to you from the famous crew of Red Dwarf, especially Dave Lister on the BBC. Fried egg sandwich, chili sauce, and chutney. Excellent. Now we're going to have to go and check on those pakoras. And now it's nearly time to bring the pakoras out of the oven. So, off with the temperature. Of course it's hot, so you have to use oven mitts. There we go. The pakora with the fried egg sandwich. I'm going to have a few more bites and let these cool off a bit. It just gets better as the flavor sits and soaks in. Like I said, these are like onion nests. And I think they have a little bit of potato in them too, like potato tots. And they're breaded. I think they got coriander seed in them. What's, I think it's part of what goes into cilantro. And you can dip them in anything you want. This is not part of the Red Dwarf series or the BBC or anything. I've chosen to use barbecue sauce. They're mighty fine. If you go to an India restaurant, they would have these probably in the buffet. Either plain like this, and they're good plain. They could be in a curry sauce. I'm sure they would be good with curry too. They are very good. So that's our cooking video today. Fried egg sandwich with chili sauce and chutney. And pakora baked in the oven. You can get them at a lot of grocery stores now. They're in the frozen section. Or if you have an India grocery store, you can find them too. These were, I think, a bag of them for $1.99, which is pretty reasonable. And they are simple. Just bake them for 12 or 14 minutes and they're perfect to eat. That's all for now. Be seeing ya.